So it's no secret at all that I really like maths. And it really all started with a love of sequences. Now a sequence is just a list of numbers. And as a kid, what I really loved doing was creating sequences of numbers. So for instance, counting up in twos. I loved counting up in twos. In fact, when I was in grade one, I filled the entire exercise book with just two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Now when you write a sequence, you should put a comma between each term. Each of these is called a term. That's a term, that's a term, that's a term, and so on. They're all terms. Here's another sequence. This time I'm counting up in threes. Now, we can be a bit more specific with our terms. We could call this term one, T1, right? That's term one. This one is term two. This one is term three, and so on. Notice I'm writing my one really small down the bottom of that T. Term one, term two, term three, so on. Sequences don't have to be like counting up in twos or counting up in threes. We can come up with all sorts of different sequences. For example, this sequence here, I'm multiplying each term by three. Two times six is, two times three is six. Six times three is 18. 18 times three is 54 and so on. There's another sequence. I've just written up that the rule for this one is add two. The rule for this one is add three. And the rule for this one is multiply by three. To define a sequence like this though, I can't just say add two, add three, multiply by three. I've also got to tell you where to start from. So in this sequence, we started at two and added two. In this sequence, we started at three and added three. And at this sequence, we started at two and multiplied by three. We can make this a bit more complicated. Look at this sequence here, six, nine, 15, 27, 51. You could pause the video and try to figure out what's going on there. All right, so the rule for this one is start at six and then two different things multiply by two and then minus three let's double check starting at six multiply by two that's 12 minus three nine double this so times two 18 minus three 15 times two 30 minus three 27 Multiply that by 2, 54 minus 3, 51. It works. So we can have all sorts of wild rules here for our sequences. What about this sequence here? 1, 5, 3, 4, 1, 1, 6, 1. What's that sequence? Well, that sequence is me rolling a dice. I got a dice out and I rolled it. I rolled it eight times. We call this sequence a random sequence. I used a random number generator, a dice, and I just rolled it a bunch of times and I got this random sequence. So the last thing I want to show you is a fun little thing on our calculator here. So let's look at this rule here. The rule says multiply by two and then subtract three. You can do that like super fast on your calculator. So the way to do it is just to type six equals. All right, so there's my starting term, six. And then what's the rule? It's multiply by two plus, oh, sorry, minus three. Now notice what that's saying. That's saying take the answer and then multiply it by two and subtract three. Now the initial answer was six. If I do that, I get nine. Watch what happens when I press equals again. 15, because that's taking the previous answer, nine, 15. You've probably done this before. Equals 27 equals 51. I can do this so, quickly now and get all the numbers in this. And, oh wow, this sequence gets really big really fast. Okay, that is an introduction to sequences. In the next video, we're going to talk about very specific sequence and then go from there.